Let's discuss about the parallelogram law of vector addition after learning the triangle law of vector addition. Uh, the statement of the parallelogram law of vector addition speaks something like this. If two vectors acting at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram drawn from a point, their resultant in magnitude and direction is given by the diagonal passing through the same point. Okay, let me make you understood uh, by drawing the pictures each and every word, what, what they actually trying to say here. Let's say this is a parallelogram and let me give the name to this A b c d all right so definitely this should be parallel this side should be also parallel and now let's go one by one if two vectors acting at a point let's say the two vectors is acting at this point acting at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram all right so two adjacent sides one is this side and another is along this side all right so these two adjacent sides are representing two vectors let's say this is representing vector p and let's say this is representing vector q uh, point their resultant then their resultant in magnitude and direction is given by the diagonal passing through the same points then that time the resultant of these two vector p and vector q will be given by the diagonal passing through the same point uh, uh, the point where the these two vectors are acting all right means the diagonal this diagonal all right so this is the resultant vector of these two vectors all right this is called this is actually this is actually here you know this resultant r is giving the sum of the vector p and the sum of the vector q according to the parallelogram law of vector addition all right and if you if you see this parallelogram law of vector addition a little differently uh, uh i mean the opposite sides are parallel and equal in parallelogram so if uh, if this AD side and BC side are equal, then that time I can say that if this is and and both have the same direction also because those are parallel also. So see, magnitude is same because the length of this and length of this both are equal and same directed. I mean direction is also same. So I can say that this is vector Q. And now if you see from the triangle law of vector addition point of view, then see here. The triangle of vector addition uh, says, just, just take a look on the triangle A, B, C, all right? Just take a look on this triangle. In this triangle, if you see, uh, then the triangle law says that if two vectors are represented by the two sides of the uh, triangle taken in same order, see? The same order is here, all right? Uh, tail to head and again tail to head, same order. Then the resultant is represented in, in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in opposite order, taken in reverse order. So I'm taking the reverse order, see? All right, I mean, I mean from here I reached here and then I'm going there. And if I'm, uh, if I'm, up, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, using the same direction, I'm in same order, then it will go like this. But I'm not going like that. I'm going from this side, all right? So this is, this is uh, the opposite order. So from triangle point of view also, if you see, then the, then the vector AB plus vector CB must be equals to vector AC. So parallelogram law of vector addition is no more different than the triangle law of vector addition. It's the same way. And you can prove the, in the same way you can prove later if you, if you as in the previous uh, triangle of vector addition while deriving the, the magnitude of this resultant and the direction of resultant, we had, we had proved, you know, we had actually derived the equations, uh, the, 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 the equation that gives the resultant value and the direction, how much it is directed. If it is beta angle, if it is theta angle, then we had proved. And later in the same way, just like in the previous video of uh, derivation of the triangle of vector addition, if you follow, then you'll get the resultant again same, you know, that's square of the first vector, the square of the second vector plus 2p q cosine of theta. This theta is the angle between the two vectors, vector q and vector p all right the angle between them you know how much this is if it is theta this will be also theta all right inside the root this is the resultant now if, if you if you if you will give the uh, direction of this vector quantity because we, we write the magnitude of that resultant now we need to give the direction then that time the direction this beta will be you know with respect to this first vector p will be tan inverse uh, q sine theta divided by p plus q cosine of theta here theta is the angle between the, these two vectors, you know, uh, vector p and vector q. That's theta. All right, the same thing is here also. That theta. So this is the uh, this is the equation that will give you the uh, will give you the resultant of the uh, this this vector addition uh, of these two vector addition when they are acting in the two adjacent sides of the parallelogram. And this is the angle of the resultant how they is to move with respect to the uh, 
a first vector p all right